Okay, we're going to take up the energy final. Um, what I want you to do is follow along with your test and make sure that you're using the strategies that I use. Uh, first question, what type of sound is formed by a thick, long piano wire? That's your clue word, that it's thick. And remember when we drew the guitar, we said that the thick wires have a low pitch. Just like Mr. Moiler is thick, so he has a low voice. And we said that the thin wires are like Miss Sifferman, and they have a high voice. So I have the thin, have a high pitch, okay? So very simply, right from your notes, oops, it has a low pitch if it's a thick wire. Thick wire has a low pitch. Okay, number two, when a football player kicks a ball, he transfers energy to a ball. What happens as a result of this energy transfer? Okay, and this is right from your book. Um, I've kicked a lot of pretend balls in class as well. So what happens is, is the foot makes contact with the football and transfers energy to that ball. And the ball, as it moves, it's gaining kinetic energy because it's moving. And what you need to remember is if it says moving or the object moves, when, then you know it's kinetic energy, okay? So we're not talking anything about chemical energy. Um, the kinetic energy of the ball increases, yes. He loses his balance, well, he might, but we're talking about energy transfer, so that really doesn't have anything to do with energy transfer and the football player gains mechanical energy, well, he already had to have mechanical energy in order to uh, move the ball. So he doesn't gain it when he kicks it. Okay, Jasmine placed a pencil in a glass of water. What did she notice about the pencil? And this comes straight from our lesson. Uh, we had a pencil in the water, and when we looked at it, um, it looked like it was broken. And you need to remember that I show these things in class so that you can see them and understand them. So the light hits the water, which is a clear object, and when light hits clear, it bends. Okay? So it said it looked like it was broken because light was absorbed. No, the light is bent. It changed color because the light was bent. Um, well, we asked what did she notice about the pencil? The light might have changed color after it passed through the water, but we're talking about the pencil. The pencil looked broken because light was bent. There's our answer. The pencil looked the same in the water as it did out of the water, and we know that it does not because we saw that it looks like it's broken. Okay, uh, Maria had a secret message written backward. She used a mirror to see what it said. What did she see in the mirror? Okay, and don't forget, we did this in class with mirrors. Um, we wrote, um, we had a card that said something backwards, and if we looked at it in the mirror, it actually looked the right way. Okay, so that's what it looked like on the card, but when we looked at it through the mirror, it looked the right way, so it looked proper. So there's your answer, it looked right. Okay, um, the gasoline used to make a car move is, is it mechanical energy? Well, no, because uh, gasoline, remember, we drew a picture of all of our chemical energies, and a uh, can of gasoline was one of the pictures that we drew. Might not have been a great picture, but we also put gasoline on it, so you knew that that was gasoline. So gasoline is not mechanical energy. Yes, it's chemical energy. Yes, it's potential energy. And it is not kinetic energy. But the um, energy that we talked about gasoline being was chemical because it's stored energy. If you did put potential, I might consider it. Um, Juan conducted an experiment to see how light was reflected. What materials should one use to observe reflected light? Well, don't forget, um, to see reflected light, we have to bounce it off of a shiny surface, 
or a white surface or light colored surface. So let's look for things that are shiny and white. Uh, dark paper, that's not shiny or white. Brown wood, that's not shiny or white. Dark paper, not shiny or white. A mirror is shiny, but since dark paper is not, that can't be right. A mirror is shiny, but wood is not. A mirror is shiny and white paper is white. So that's why it's six C or D. Okay. Why do your hands feel warm when you touch something hot? And this comes from the day that um, we put our ice bag of ice in our hand. Um, when we put the bag of ice in our hand, we noticed that our hand got really sore, and we learned that heat moves from the warmer object to the colder object. So let's say if you're touching a mug full of hot coffee, the same thing is going to happen. When your hands are on it, the warmth or the heat is going to go from the mug into your hand. So the heat travels from the cough or the hot object into your hand. I just said it's a mug. It's just something hot. So kinetic energy is formed in the hands. No, energy is never formed. It's only transferred. Heat energy is formed in the hands. No, it is never formed. It is only transferred. Heat energy transfers to your hands. Yes. And potential energy, we didn't talk about that in heat, okay? So C is the answer for that. Okay, what happens to the particles or molecules of a substance when heat is added? added? And don't forget, uh, when we go from a solid to a liquid to a gas, we increase the temperature. This is from our matter unit. So we add heat or increase the temperature. And then if you look at the molecules or the particles in a solid, the molecules are really tightly packed. And they're not moving very much. They're squished on that couch. When they go to a liquid, they're actually spread apart. And that's because they're moving around. So they're actually speeding up. And then in gas, they're moving like crazy. They're going all over the place. So those molecules or particles are moving very quickly. So when we go from a solid to a liquid to a gas or when we heat things, we increase the speed of the particles or uh, split them up, okay? So the particles melt? No, molecules don't melt. Ice cream melts. The particles move faster? Yes. The particles slow down? No, because we're adding heat, so we're going this direction. The particles get closer? No, we're adding heat, so they're actually getting further apart. So B is the answer.